up, John and Meredith? Hey. <laughs> this is so fun. Abby in the film has a habit of going to social media for her news. Mm -hmm. How dangerous do you think it is in today's society for people, millennials, grown-ups, not grown-ups, but you know what I'm saying, older people, sure. to go to Twitter, I Facebook for their news? I actually do think it's dangerous. I've caught myself being like, oh, this is a fact, and then being like, wait a second, like I, th there's like this much that I read. I didn't read what was actually happening. It's tough, you know, because like, it's, you're looking at the same medium, right? So like, you can have real news stories and like, like great articles on Twitter or whatever, but then you can have at Badass Patriot yeah. <laughs> also has the same yeah. type of looking, f so like there's, yeah. it's tough to distinguish, you know, right. so it's, the lines it's, are blurred. The yeah. lines are blurred. I also was saying too, we live in an echo chamber where it's like if you go on your Facebook and you cert if you like certain stories or certain people and things, you end up getting content catered to what it is that you like. So you end up just sort of seeing the same thing more often yeah. than not. Absolutely. It's dangerous. Absolutely. So your brother yes. directed, wrote, starring in this film. How close is the relationship between you and Ike than the relationship between Chris and Peter? <laughs> Very different. <laughs> we grew up uh, best friends and still are best friends. Oh. And yeah, it was definitely fun to play this. Uh, but yeah, I think like, kind of the opposite is what you would see in the movie. We maybe bickered growing up as brothers do, but nothing like Nothing like Pat and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that this film is taking place on Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. it's a family holiday, and yet we're having not a whole family experience, yeah. so yeah. to speak. What do you think your life would be like if something like that went down for you in real life? If your Thanksgiving literally turned into a thanks nightmare? What? I think it can bond you. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think trauma bonds. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this was this was born out of, you know, two Thanksgivings ago after the 16 election. Uh, we have a big family Thanksgiving every year, mm -hmm. and we have like 20 people over, and the night winds down. It's just our family left. And at the end of the night, it was myself and my brother and my mom, and we were like, we are all aligned politically too, mm -hmm. and uh, just maybe different varying degrees. And we were all at kind of each other's throats, mm -hmm. uh, which was n it's never been like that before, trying to assess what is going on. And I think. Ike had that like light bulb moment of, oh my God, if if this is how we are and we're a tight right. family, what's it like for other families right now? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I think like that was uh, that was a real, uh, real weird moment. thing to experience. <laughs> yeah. So, what is the one thing you guys want people to take away from your characters in this film, Damn. or the lesson you want that people he's to take away? Yeah, that he's handsome yeah, exactly. and young. John 20, really, he's he twenty-four is, uh, years old. John wants everyone to know he he's has a range of a twelve to twelve to twenty-four, 24. twenty-five. I can push it. Uh, <laughs> I I think that people should take from my character that you should not be that rude at someone else's Thanksgiving. And and I, and I think you should take from mine that uh, you uh, even if you think you're right, you do need your family at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah.